Hey everybody, I'm here with Klaus, the CEO of Bosch E-Bike Systems, and we are going to be talking about their new performance line SX motor. So Klaus, give us kind of an overview of the SX motor, and then I'm also curious to know what you're most kind of proud about in the development of this motor specifically. Okay, first of all, thanks for, for having us and uh, coming by here at our C Auto booth. So the Performance Line SX is the newest uh, product in our lineup. You know our CX for mountain bikes and uh, the CX now has a smaller, let's call it brother, because in the range of uh, full power 85 newton meter three, below three kilogram, we said there is room for a lightweight version and this comes Sorry for the kilogram, I'm not so good with pound. Yep, that's great. The, the below two kilogram and the full system with the integrated battery comes with around uh, four kilogram, which is the total weight is below the weight of a full uh, size battery. And we are super proud because of the power to weight ratio that we brought into this motor and also all the rideability and the performance and the agility uh, it has a lot of technology from the CX. It's mm -hmm. just smaller and has uh, less peak torque. Well, that's I, I'm really excited to get out riding this. I rode it briefly at yeah. Eurobike last year. Um, one of the questions that I have for you is: you made this capable of, of, yeah. out, of yeah. outputting 600 watts yeah. of power, but yeah. kept the torque down to about 55 yeah. meters. Why did you do it that way? We did it that way because. Power is torque multiplied by the cadence, by RPM. And uh, if you reduce the torque and you multiply it with a high uh, RPM, then you come to the same power, but only at higher RPM. So if you want to ride with a CX, CX provides you the full range of the 600 watts from lower RPM, from 50 RPM to 100, wherein the SX you need to ride at higher RPM to get the full 600 watt. And the 600 watt are actually limited by the electrical mm -hmm. system, by the by the voltage and the current out of the battery. So that means the CX is more the full power version that provides a broader range of RPMs where you can ride. And here you have the due to the limited torque, the mm -hmm. high power only at a higher range of RPM. But uh, as this is a lightweight bike and uh, this is appealing for let's say sportive athletic riders on an e-mountain bike uh, and typically you have a higher cadence which means you can overcome obstacles as well because it is super sensitive it is super responsive and with this uh, lightweight package it's fun to ride only there's one limitation super steep technical climbs you just have more power reserve mm -hmm. with the cx combined to the sx that's awesome. Yeah, I'm, again, very stoked to get this out on the trail. We're going to be getting in a bike and doing a full review, taking it through testing, so I'll be able to talk how it, how it rides. But I'm very impressed with the specs, so I think you guys have done a fantastic job on this. Thank you very much. Yeah, um, I, know you're, I know you're busy, guys. Yeah. Just one last question. Yeah. Is where do you see the e-bike industry going over the next five years? Yeah. So what's happening right now is to have, let's say, a broader range of products and being more modular, like different drive units, batteries, and the range extender, our power more, so that you can really, as a bike company, that you can play with your specification. For this use case, uh, case, use case, I mm -hmm. wanna, I wanna have this spec for the. So just to give them more solutions to play with. And uh, in the mid and long run, for sure, it's always integration, design integration, weight down, power up. So the power to weight ratio mm -hmm. we will see more in the future. There is always something that you have to, to play with is, uh, is temperature and derating because you have efficiency and losses. So if you go too small, and then you have to limit your power output. Mm -hmm. There are huge trade-offs, but we will see smaller and uh, more compact uh, in the future, but you have to be aware of trade-offs. So the, the engineers have a have a have a long task list. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now they've, I mean, they've come so far in the last four or five years. So we're really excited to see the next five years as well. Well, you will see, which is not here yet so much, but in Europe, 
is, is ABS, mm -hmm. an active uh, interlock braking system, not only for all road and, and trail riding, but really for performance riding. So there will be more products and also more brake partners using the ABS. It's not so known yet and popular mm -hmm. in the US, but in, the, in Europe it's already coming. And then all solutions about electrical shifting. So we do what we call an e-shift platform. This is giving power and controls from the system to a hub, integrated gear hub or to a derailleur to allow automatic shifting. Mm -hmm. There is more to come in the future. Super cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Klaus, thank you. We appreciate okay. your time. And we're, again, very excited about this motor from Bosch. Go on a ride. Thank you very much.